The Dungeon of Solidarity has been renewed. The experience gained from the growth juice of Solidarity and defeating monsters has increased. Solidarity talismans have been added as well. Gather your Blood Pledge members for the renewed Dungeon of Solidarity and enhance your talisman to aid your growth. Last week, the Arena Dungeon matches have changed. The groups that ruled each dungeon gathered at Tebrath and the Temple of Deacle over the weekend where intense battles unfolded. In Tebrath, where the most battles occurred, the most notable were the battles in Match 1. Match 1 was a star-studded battlefield where 40% of the top 100 gathered. The following players performed outstandingly and made significant contributions on the battlefield. In particular, the Bao Team Union and its allied union Zanmeng Da Lian He utilized their top-ranking ranged players to efficiently engage in battle. Meanwhile, the most intense battles took place in the Temple of Dikul Match 4. The following unions clashed on the battlefield. With no one backing down, neither side was able to defeat the boss after a prolonged standoff. The following players recorded the highest number of defeats. Although more members of the Pai Dui Nu Shen De Ho Gong Union and its allies made their name on the list, due to fierce resistance from the opposing side, victory is undecided. Amidst the rising tension, we'll have to wait and see who'll defeat the boss next week. The Lineage W creators have been actively streaming on their respective channels. Let's see what they've been up to this week. Ling Hu Chang attempted to fuse an Ascension Morph with the viewers. He built anticipation after successfully fusing a Legend Morph. It was a nerve-wracking Ascension Morph fuse attempt. Although at first it seemed like it might fail, in the end he was able to obtain the Ascension Morph card Valakus. It was thanks to the support and cheer of the viewers. Congratulations on obtaining the Ascension Morph Valakus. With all Ascension Morphs in his collection, we can't wait to see how he performs on the battlefield. Lee Munju flaunted his fancy items which drew a lot of attention. But it turned out he had rented the gears from the Union's strongest player, Sanyang Kune Hansik. With the help of the rented gear, he was seen fighting courageously. Although he returned the gear after the battle, there was a hint of regret lingering. However, the viewers got to watch a satisfying battle thanks to it. We thank everyone involved for showing the viewers such passionate gameplay. Meanwhile, something had happened to disrupt Mong Jung Yi's peaceful stream. Although Mong Jung Yi claimed not to watch fellow streamers' live streams, he could not get past Won Jae's keen eye. <laughs> Upon investigation, Mong Jung Yi's viewing history was filled with fellow streamers' live streams. We applaud the passion and the dedication that is taken to diligently monitor other streamers' live streams, and we look forward to future performances. This week, we've prepared information on the Dungeon of Solidarity renewal and news on the Arena Dungeon battles, as well as updates on the Lineage W creators. We'll be back next week with more exciting news.